They didn't build fences to show that they own the land, and they didn't uh, have domestic animals. Uh, the animals that they keep, other than dogs, erected means to um, build. Okay, erect means to make something stand. Fence is a boundary between two areas of land, and it's made of mostly um, um, wood or a wire, and it's supported by posts. Denote means to show, show. Uh, the ownership means to the state that you own something. No fence, nor did. Not a, nor b means it's not a, and not b either. Do you understand? If you use nor, the um, position of the subject and the verb changes. So, nor did they have. This means and they didn't have any large domestic animals other than dogs either. Okay. Domestic means uh, tamed and kept by humans rather than being wild in a farm or um, at home. <coughs> but on the other hand, the colonists, when they farmed, they did what, um, they built fences and they um, showed that they owed the, owned the land. Practice is something that is done regularly. For these people, the colonists, um, they brought um, cows, pigs, goats, and sheep um, to the to the open land for to feed them with the grass on it. Okay, but this often destroyed the native crops. Okay, grazing means to um, let the animal eat the grass on the land. Soon, the countryside was filled with fences and this kept the uh, Indians from entering their um, land which they were using and the hunting um, area and this caused um, Anxiety between both sides, okay? Both sides means the uh, Indians and the colonists. Traditional means something that has been used for a long time without change. Tension is uh, the state of being stretched tightly. Um, it's a state when people are anxious and don't believe each other, okay? And there's a possibility of sudden um, conflict or violence. So what is this part about? The Indians were living, using the land, and the land and the sea gave them everything, provided them with, pro provided them with everything they need. And um, they, uh, they grew crops, and crops such as beans kept the source, fertilized the um, soil. Or when uh, the products, when uh, the production of crop became low, the Indians went away and farmed on new lands, okay? They didn't use any fences and they didn't have any domestic animals uh, other than dogs. But the colonists, on the other hand, they built fences and showed their ownership. They showed that they owned the land 
and they brought a lot of domestic animals um, to feed on the open land and this destroyed a lot of um, native crops and as the land was filled with fences the natives could not enter their um, land that they used to uh, use and um, this caused anxiety between the two groups of people this is what it's about when the colonists arrived they brought tools of change and that uh, changed the land in a bad way and the most important of these were worms um, but they were rare before the rare in the Americas the Americas means the whole American continent okay um, North America South America before the Europeans arrived worms destroyed dead leaves and other plants on the forest which um, fertilized the soil before okay vegetation means plants or trees or flowers replenish means to make something full again okay but other insects they um, brought um, were helpful to the land. These were bees. They spread pollen so that the plants can grow far and uh, farer and wider. <coughs> Introduce means to um, let something enter a place for the first time. Um, pollen is a fine powder produced by flowers and it fertilizes other flowers of the same species, okay? And make them produce a seed. And, and a seed grows into a new plant, right? But... The natives, the um, Indians, didn't uh, think of the bees as some as beneficial, but this as a sign that the colonists were near them. Still, it's like but, right? You use it when you want to say something, which is the case after what you have said which is still the case, which is um, the case after what you have just said, right? Regard means to think of. It, us uh, it originally means um, look at something. It's French, okay? Boon is something that makes your life easier or better. Let's look at what this uh, paragraph is about. When the Europeans arrived, they brought uh, many things which badly changed the land, changed the land badly. The most important were the worms, which were not very uh, common in the Americas before the Europeans arrived. Worms destroyed dead leaves and other plants on their forest floors, um, which before fertilized the soil. But some insects like uh, bees were beneficial because they um, spread pollen and so that the new plants can go grow better but the native people the indians didn't think of the bees as something helpful for them but as a sign that the europeans are near so th they didn't welcome it So, um, the English people systematically planting and selling tobacco um, caused a change to what will happen in the colony 
and the America. Okay? Systematical means um, following a plan, a fixed plan. Major change. Major means more important than others in a situation. Virginia tobacco was sweet and smooth and it, it became very popular in Europe. The colonists um, found their luck, after all, in the end, okay? Fortune is a lot of money, or luck. Um, they quickly cleared the land, and um, they planted, they grew a lot of tobacco. Um, but tobacco um, uses up the life of the soil in a short time. So new lands, they uh, looked for new lands and they cut down the forests. Constantly means what? Continuously, right? <coughs> At the same time, um, the Indians were weak from the diseases from Europe, um, such as smallpox and malaria, so they couldn't defend well. Simultaneously means at the same time. Old world is Europe in the perspective of Europeans as opposed to the new world which is the Americas. Smallpox is a very serious infectious disease and it causes um, spots on your body which leaves a deep mark after it's cured. Malaria is a serious disease called, uh, carried by mosquitoes and you get fever. Only a token defense, token means a little. Um, token is a piece of paper or cards that you can exchange for a product, right? In 1619, the slaves arrived and they started to work on the tobacco fields. And that began a, a, another sad, long um, part of the American history, okay? Work the t tobacco fields means work with the t tobacco fields, right? <coughs> thus beginning means, and thus began, and thus began. The thing that the Jamestown left in America is not just the first English colony, but also um, something that shows a sign of change of, in a good way or, and the bad way for the Indians and the land itself. Harbinger is a sign that something especially something bad, will happen. So, um, the fact that the English decided to systematically plant and sell tobacco brought a major change to the colony and America. Virginia tobacco was very sweet and smooth and became a very popular in Europe and the uh, um, continent, no, so the uh, colonists um, found what they were looking for, right? The wealth. 